setup of my room and my kitchen because it was a little bit not clean so i wanted to tidy it up to start my day so today is my last day here in la and tomorrow morning i'm actually leaving to go back to my hometown in illinois so i have quite a few things to get done before tomorrow and also we're gonna have some people over tonight as like a last like christmas hurrah before myself and madeline go back home to like our hometowns for christmas so i have quite a few things to do i'm also drinking my coffee because for some reason i woke up today wanting coffee i have been trying to like wean myself off of coffee and drink a tea but today man was just a coffee type of day so i'm gonna finish this up go take a shower get ready and i will check back with you guys after So I'm all ready for the day and I'm actually noticing my roots have grown in so much. I'm not really mad about it. I kind of like it actually. So anyways, it's just, I feel like it looks more apparent when I curl my hair. But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Princess Polly. And I'm actually really excited about this video because I've been following their Instagram for so long and like I love all their clothes and I follow other people who also wear their clothes. So I'm so excited to be working with them. And I first wanted to let you guys know that this shirt is from Princess Polly and I am obsessed with like this silky material and like this color you guys know that I've been like really into neutrals lately and this is like the perfect silky shirt I've been wanting one exactly like this and I've tried to thrift it but I've never been able to find one like this great before so I'm just gonna do a quick haul of everything that I picked out from Princess Polly so I got this shirt right here as well as I got the same exact color because I'm telling you guys like this champagne color is just so beautiful like it's not like a bodycon dress but it's not like super flowy it just kind of like lays there and it looks so gorgeous on you like I love this so much i'm so excited to wear this for like a holiday party and then i also got this cropped turtleneck that's just like this cream color and it has like a mock turtleneck kind of thing i don't like the ones that are like too big because it really suffocates me so i love this like faux turtleneck situation going on and like i mentioned i love like this silk kind of material this is a white silky shirt and then it just has a tie in the front it just looks like you put a ton of effort into your outfit like you can just literally wear this with jeans and you have like an amazing outfit next up i got this jacket because again i'm going back to illinois and it's literally i don't even want to look at the temperature but i'm pretty sure it's like in the 20s so your girl needs some outerwear and i love that it's cropped i think that's so flattering it's very warm like it's very puffy so i am so excited to wear this back home and then next up another outerwear i just could not pass this up i love like this caramel color i think it's so gorgeous this is a medium slash large and it's very like oversized but i love it like this i feel like an actual teddy bear and if anybody would like to hug me go right ahead like just get my consent before you know i'm all for like a like a hug you know 20 degree weather i am ready for you i am prepared so i absolutely love this it's so soft so comfy and i just want to live in this now this is gonna be like my new wardrobe okay next up i got some accessories and i just picked up this belt that's like this cow material not material just like the pattern is cow and i think this is so so cute i think this would be so nice just paired with some black high-waisted pants next up i just got some earrings so this first one is some silver hoops with some little dangling detail down below and then i also just got some gold hoops because believe it or not i don't have any gold hoops and i thought these ones were so nice these are like great quality and then next up i just picked up some sunglasses i just love like simple sunglasses and these are like the perfect ones so these ones have like some gold detailing and then i also got this pair which is like the same style but it's all black and i think this is also a really great look and i love both of those and then last but not least this is probably one of my favorite things that i picked up it's this really beautiful like snake print is this snake print i think it is black little backpack and i have a different backpack that i wear all the time but it's honestly getting so dingy that i really needed to pick up a new one i love like wearing backpacks that can like transform into like like you can just wear it like that if you want 
or you can like put it all the way on but I personally love like wearing little backpacks instead of purses I think they're more like functional so if you saw anything in this haul that you liked and you want to purchase it yourself you guys should definitely use the code love Leah to get 20% off your next purchase and also if you order anything over $50 you can get free shipping which is always great I hate paying for shipping it's like the worst thing ever and also Princess Polly offers afterpay for US customers which is always great I've actually personally never used that before but I love that it's an option if you choose to use that now I have to tidy all the stuff up again so that my room it doesn't become a total disaster and yeah I will check back with you guys after <laughs> So I just switched out my letter board to say Son of a Nutcracker by Buddy the Elf himself. I thought this is so cute. I actually asked you guys on Instagram like what I should put on here and I read through them and you guys actually said really great requests. But I just thought of like Buddy the Elf and I was like he has so many great quotes so I just went online and then I was gonna do I like smiling, smiling's my favorite. Or I, I was almost, I was so close to putting this one. I'm a cotton head and ninny muggins and oh, I kind of wish I had more days. I should have just like done one elf quote a day. That would have been so cute. And I don't think I've showed you guys like all of my Christmas decorations. I really don't have a lot. Like if I had a Christmas tree, it would be right over here. But I never got a Christmas tree, but how cute would it look over there? But my mom actually sent me this banner yesterday. And how cute is it? It just says Merry Christmas and I feel like it looks so perfect in this little setup. And I also put my extra little ornaments on this thing because I felt like this was like not Christmassy at all. And I got these, actually I got this one this year um, from Target, but all this stuff is from Target. I just love these little houses. Oh, I should turn it on actually. Look at that. And then I have another one over here. This one I got last year, I think. And it doesn't come, it didn't come with like a light thing. And then I got the little tree. I got this last year from Target and then I just kept like the white and silver and like this kind of pink color on the tree and then this is my present to Madeline I'm gonna have her open that tonight let's see what else oh yeah this little bowl I thrifted this if you guys remember I love this bowl so much it has like a scalloped little detail and it's so Christmassy and cute and my mom also sent me these little like peppermint barks in the mail so I just threw those in there I think it looks super cute and then I don't really have much over here but I do have this little drummer boy kind of what are these things called nutcrackers there we go and then we have another little house which I'm gonna turn this guy on as well and then I have this little stocking right here that I just clipped on and then lastly I have this cute little like dish towel that I got from Target it says gingerbread cafe reindeer farm North Pole Express Mrs. Claus bakery Elf Village, Sled Shop, so cute, I love this so much. I still need to put stuff up on my walls, that's gonna be a top priority when I come back home. So I have this stuff right here because we're gonna do like a gallery wall, so I have all of my pictures right here, but I still need to like set out a day to do that. And I also just don't really know what to put over here because we wanna do like a gallery wall right here, but like what do you guys suggest over here? Like should I maybe get like a shelf or something? I'm not exactly sure. So it's about three o'clock, so I'm gonna head to the grocery store so I can get some wine because I'm gonna be attempting to make a mulled wine. So yeah, I gotta get some of that and I'll probably just pick up a few different snacks for tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna change out my old bag for my new one. I think this one is just so much cuter. And yeah, I'm gonna transfer my stuff over here. Okay, I'm gonna run to Trader Joe's so I can pick up some stuff for my mold of wine recipe. I have my bag, I have my teddy coat on because it's actually like kind of cold outside. I have my turtleneck, I have my belt on, and my jeans, and my shoes. So we're gonna head out the door now and let's head to TJ's. Made it to Trader Joe's and I'm just I've just been sitting in my car for the last like 10 minutes because I don't know I just have been go 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 all day I film like three two or three videos after I finished like doing my haul for this video I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm like feeling really exhausted but I still have so much to do and I'm actually staying over at Sierra's house tonight because she lives way closer to the airport and that way I can just take an uber from her house to the airport in the morning so I need to make sure I'm like packed and everything 
before like people come over tonight so yeah i'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed a little exhausted but it's okay we're gonna power through so my friend sent me this mulled wine recipe and i'm gonna just pick up all the ingredients for it so hopefully i can find everything at tj maxx sometimes tj's doesn't have like every single thing that i need you know it's like one of those places that sometimes don't carry like certain things so i'm really hoping that they have everything if they don't have cinnamon sticks i'm gonna be pissed because i don't want to go anywhere else Okay, sadly, they did not have my cinnamon sticks. Tragic. So I am in Ralph's parking lot, so I'm gonna run in and grab some cinnamon sticks as well as some cloves. I don't understand cloves. Like, they're really expensive and they're like tiny little guys. So we're gonna see how much they are. If not, I might just be like, not today, not today cloves. And yes, I ate two of these on the way here. You know, don't judge me and I won't judge you. You know, we all out here trying to live. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little grocery haul before I put stuff away. So I did end up having to go to Ralph's, unfortunately, because they were out of the cinnamon sticks. Figured. And I also ended up getting some cloves. These actually weren't that expensive. These were only like $5. What was expensive were the cinnamon sticks. I think this was like $8 for like five of them, six of them. So that cloves and then I did I wasn't gonna get these at first but I just think this will just make it so much more special these are like those little stars they're so pretty and cute I feel like these are gonna make it so much more festive and then like I said in the car I did get these and I ate two of them so don't judge me okay so I saw this on Morgan Yates's vlog if you guys follow her these are the candy cane Jojo ice cream amazing and to go along with that I got just some classic Candy Cane Jojo's. These are so good. These are even better than the original, in my opinion. So, how festive. So I have some hummus that I got in my last haul, and I haven't eaten it. So I figure since I'm leaving tomorrow morning, I need to eat it before I leave because I'm going to be gone for like two weeks. So I got some crackers to eat with that. I'm going to just like set it out, and hopefully people eat that. So I got some Carbonet and some brandy. I put those together, and it makes some mulled wine. I don't know. I've never made this before. You also need some cranberries, blackberries, and an orange. I have no clue why I got this. I just didn't know that Trader Joe's carried just regular chili sauce because every time I try to make chili, I always I always go to Trader Joe's and I just get their lime chili sauce or lime chili seasoning and I never have seen the regular chili. So when I saw it, I was like, I'm just gonna pick it up. And then just because I was feeling festive, I got some eggnog liqueur. It just says, enjoy over ice with a dash of nutmeg or cinnamon for the perfect holiday libation. I don't think we'll be drinking this tonight because I think this will be enough. But I just thought I would like to try this at some point. I need to honestly pack. Like I'm uh, getting a little stressed out honestly. <sighs> because I have to like pack everything and then I'm going to Sierra's house after like this party to get together thing. And I don't know, I'm just like feeling a little stressed because I'm like, ah, oh, should I not have booked it for this early? Or maybe I should just like not stay at her house and just get an Uber in the morning. I don't know, we might end up doing that, but I just figured it'd be nice to be closer to the airport, but anyways, you guys don't care. So Madeline just got home and we both made the executive decision to not make the mold wine tonight because a few people canceled and there's only going to be like three girls coming over. So we're just going to save all the ingredients for a different party. But I am going to break open the eggnog liqueur and put it over some ice. I think that'll be really good. So yeah, I'm not going to show you guys the recipe in this video, but definitely check back later on because I will be showing you guys in a different video. We literally need to like power pack. So I'm just gonna throw a bunch of clothes into my luggage and call it a day because I just need to pack. So I'm just gonna end off this vlog because I feel very stressed out and I don't want to carry that over to you guys. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. <laughs>